welcome to another CBO Marketplace Minute to encourage, equip, and empower you for your marketplace ministry. Have you ever noticed that Jesus talked about money more than anything else except the kingdom of God? Having the right attitude towards money is a key to living the abundant life that others are attracted to. This is Laurie with CBO, and today we're talking about mind over money. Let's start with this reminder. It's not about you. Jesus said, For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Here now is Scott to walk you through today's Marketplace Minute. Let's take a look at some things that are highly esteemed among men. Then we'll compare these to what is highly esteemed by God. Here is a short list. Material goods, affluence, pleasure, winning, power, fame, adoration, being envied, luxury. All of these are an abomination to God? They are when it's all about you. In other words, when you focus on your life more than the kingdom of God and his righteousness, they become something horrible in the sight of God. So what should you seek after? Here are some things that God values. Generosity with what he's given you. Contentment with what you have. Self-control. Others' interests. Goodness. Faithfulness. Humility. Being satisfied. And discretion. You know, money can buy a bed, but not sleep. It can buy books, but not brains. Money can buy food, but not an appetite. It can buy fashion, but not beauty. A house, but not a home. Money can buy health care, but not health. Pleasures, but not peace. Amusements, but not joy. Money can build a church, but not eternal life. Money can buy a crucifix, but not a savior. The kingdom of God, what do you seek first? Things of this world come to an end, or things of God's kingdom that never end? God's desire is to richly give you everything you need for your enjoyment. Tell those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which will soon be gone, but their trust should be in the living God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. With the right mindset towards money, the marketplace becomes your primary ministry to others instead of the focal point of your needs. Money serves you instead of you serving money. Do you see your work as ministry? Proverbs 10.22 says, The blessings of the Lord make one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Everyone wonders how we went from living in the back of a ski shop to building our dream home near a world-class ski resort. Here's how. It's simple, really. We found an opportunity to serve God, change lives, and earn an income. And we've taught others to do the same using a simple system. You can check it out risk-free. Visit us at www.cbo-us.org.